Uh, two-tone color nails all in my face I'm with a bad little bitch here, yeah, she got tight Told my little homie to chill, but he ain't got no patience If it ain't by money, then the big about hate Just came from the jungle, getting down with the eight Any day, I'm the one that can turn to a snake You niggas are real, but I was the one that was fake Hey man, Shit. say man, what to do is your motherfucking nigga KG Blizzard And I'm back again with another one <laughs> Let me clear my throat in a minute, you understand me? Hey man, say man have y'all heard about that lady, man, that killed that lady over some Williams chicken? And this shit hurt crazy. Let's get straight into it, man. Boy. Man, look, I thought I was recording this whole damn time. I even got the audio and shit, so look, it's gonna be a still shot, of, still picture of me on the side. So, thug it out, man. I appreciate the love, man. Peanut butter and jelly eating that little boy. Grand Grand Crackers eating that little girl. New details tonight as we come on the air. The woman accused of gunning down a church's chicken employee Monday night has been identified. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Darcy Thomas. And I'm Darrell Green. Memphis police tell us this is 45-year-old Monica Williams. And tonight, they have a warrant issued for her arrest. While police try to find Williams, Fox 13's Dominique Dillon has been digging into her past, and we found out it was a violent past. Mm -hmm. Dominique is joining us tonight from Church's Chicken in Orange Mountain. Dominique, you talked with a woman that Williams says stabbed 20 years ago. Records show in 2009, Williams was convicted of an aggravated assault that happened five years prior. I got my hands on that report and it details how Williams attacked a pregnant woman. The details share how Williams stabbed this woman and I spoke with this woman this afternoon. I tracked her down and she shared how her son was born shortly after that stabbing. I felt like it had to have been some type of setup, to be honest, because how does she even have this big old Jason knife on her already? Israel Britt Taylor says Monica Williams oh, attacked her home. in Orange Mound in 2004. Britt Taylor says she was eight months pregnant at the time. She says her son's father called her over to give her money. She says as she was driving away, Williams hit her car with a large tree branch she approached me we was in an altercation i'm trying to get her away from me but i'm not gonna lie i beat the you know what i fought her i fought her up off me mm -hmm. next thing i know she was stabbing me Britt taylor says yeah, the stress from sense. that fight resulted in her yeah, son's yeah. umbilical you know cord getting <laughs> wrapped around yeah, his yeah, neck she says no, no, she no, was no, rushed no, to the hospital no, no. How you gonna play the victim, but you out there fighting with this baby, but you blame this lady, but you out there fighting this lady, but I beat the, but she in my car, that, man, I would, if the lady hit your car with a branch and you ain't at home, keep going, you tripping. Tell my girl that shit all the time, man, keep going, you don't know what these people on out here. And her baby was delivered via C-section. I didn't even know about this chick, and she told the detective she was willing to kill me for this guy. And I wouldn't even date my ex at the time. Records show Williams served three years for the attack. Twenty years later, Williams, now 45, is wanted again. This time for murdering 48-year-old Anitra West while she was working at Church's Chicken in Orange Mound Monday night. To see her do something like that, I was like, wow. And <laughs> wow, I knew it was coming because she's... Hey, yeah. Nah, what you really want to say, you dodged a bullet. Literally. No pun, but literally. Yeah. I'm, uh, shit, this dude talked to me like, man, this one dude told me if I don't get off his block, he going to shoot me. And he laughed at all. I said, man, I don't know. I believe that nigga. He got that look in his eye. He was like, man, I don't believe that nigga. I said, all right. A couple weeks later, nigga caught a body. I told him, I said, I told y'all that nigga like he had a gun on him at all times. You think, man, come on. I be waiting on y'all. 
Don't be a fool. Treat everybody with kindness. Treat people like you want to be treated. You wouldn't even go through this. Even if they did some stupid like that, that lady could be fucked out. And you look just like the lady she killed. She popped out there. It's you. always been well. Police have issued a warrant for first degree murder for Williams. If you have seen her or you know where she is, call Crime Stoppers at 901 528 Cash. Daryl. Man, man, that shit right there is crazy, bro. Come on, my nigga. I, me looking at it now, I ain't see this shit. This is me just now watching. I, I just seen this shit like, man, what the hell going on? I, I wanted I wanted to talk about the Trump shit, but at the same time, like, man, everybody else covering it. I ain't finna, it's all right, but ain't nobody talking about this? Man, come on, my nigga. What, what did it say? I don't even know what. It's not even telling the nigga. All right, but look. We got some more. Let's see what we got, man. Let's see who she is. Boy, this is gonna be man. Come on, ain't that ironic? Her last name Williams. Come on, this can't be. I must download the wrong person. Let me make sure. Memphis mother was gone. Meanwhile, a week after our Memphis mother was gunned down at a fast food restaurant in Orange Mound, a suspect is finally in custody. MPD says 45-year-old Monica Williams turned herself in earlier Monica today, Williams. days Come after on, a man. warrant was issued for her arrest for first-degree murder. Police believe Williams is the one who shot and killed Anitra West last Monday at the church's chicken on Park oh, Avenue where shit. West oh. worked. Police say the shooting happened after the two she got into an argument the in the drive through over food. But we nah. Oh, look at that lady. Look at that last lady that was talking on that pitch. She thought that was the same lady. She probably even told her, yeah, you don't remember me, bitch. You got me sent to jail. We've since learned from the victim's family. I had a knife then. Now I got a gun. Yeah, I got, I've been waiting on this. It's crazy. She thought that was that lady. Family that West and Williams have known each other for years, and they believe the argument was personal in nature. Maybe, see, they've been knowing each other for years. That's what I'm talking about right there. They told me they've been knowing each other for years, bro. Come on, man. And it be there, too. It be it be the niggas you grew up with. I used to always say, I said, boy, if anybody tell me that, there got to be somebody that I know, because it's shit. It's like some wall shit. I'd rather for you to do it for these whole ass niggas, dude. I was, I was some real G shit in my head. But, man, now she talking about, Shooter wants to throw out the case. Man, lady, you crazy. You know why? Because I just put it together. It's my first time seeing this, bro. I just put it together. And really, I don't normally do this, but like Sharon, come in, man. Yeah, for your boy, man. You missed to be Sharon. Yeah, Kenji, bro. Kenji. Nah, for real, though. Now, boom. Yeah, she told me I throw the case out because she, I'm telling she was sitting down there and said, man, that ain't the same lady. But they talking about they been knowing each other for years. Nah, that ain't the same lady. Day two, and the woman accused of a fatal shooting at a church's chicken went back in front of a judge this Wednesday morning. Monica Williams is charged with first-degree murder for the fatal shooting that claimed the life of Anitra West. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skirlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. Following the attack, photos of the accused were released by police as they were trying to arrest her. Although the woman was seen on video, the defense is saying that may not be enough to move forward. WRG's Dorita Patterson explains why her attorney is trying to get the case thrown out. Monica Williams, a first degree murder suspect, was escorted back into Judge Bill Anderson's courtroom Wednesday. The 45 year old spoke briefly with her attorney, Scott Hall. I have been retained. She is accused of shooting to death Anitra West while the victim was at work at this church's chicken in Orange Mound she last week. Damn. This oh, all this stemmed is. from an argument detectives explained in this affidavit. However, her attorney says is what you don't see in the report that he could capitalize on. Reviewing the affidavit, I haven't seen any list of witnesses on this case, so we may be also making a motion to dismiss. See, see, that's, that's another thing I don't like about lawyers. They don't give a fuck if you did it or not. They got to play like they on your side. I don't like that shit. That's some corny ass shit. No, I don't, just for some money? 
You ain't got no morals, no honor, no respect. How do you niggas lay down and go to sleep at night? Look at his face. Looking at ass nigga, man. Anything for a dollar, dog. That's why the world fucked up. I'm telling y'all, pay attention. This case has garnered a lot of attention, sitting five rows away from Williams were half a dozen of her family members. Williams, who has mostly appeared unemotional, could be seen wiping away tears before pulling down her mask, smiling, mouthing words, and finally... You see how they push it together like that? She's seen me emotionless. Man, I ain't got no emotions when I've been picked up in this box all day. Y'all know y'all drained the nigga, and she probably on some drugs. She like a little psychopath, and they put the murderers on uh, them, them sleeping pills in her. So, look at that little fat man. Come on, man. Come on, man. But she, I'm telling you, for somebody that had to kill you, stab you, or shoot you, you had to do something real bad to that lady. Or she mentally fucked off. Giving her family an okay hand gesture, but District Attorney Steve Mulroy says nothing about this case is okay. Ordinary disputes, ordinary beefs that would have just been at most a shoving match are now fatal. And uh, it means we need uh, tougher gun laws, but it also needs we to be extra vigilant on uh, bringing these people to justice. Mulroy also addressed the defense's claim about any possible lack of witnesses. It is not unusual for us to get convictions based on video surveillance evidence even if there are no actual live witnesses. As you heard defense attorney Hall say he may move to have this case dismissed but the operative word there is may that has yet to be seen. What we do know for sure is a bond hearing is set to happen inside this courtroom Monday. We'll certainly keep you updated. Reporting for your news leader inside the CJC, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. Defense attorney Scott Hall says the bond hearing could allow the victim's loved ones to also address the court. Again, Monica Williams is set to go back before the judge Monday. All right, it is a Wednesday. I mean, what can you tell the judge that the judge don't already know or see or should feel for themselves? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I ain't into that black and white shit like, oh, we go by the books, we go by the paperwork. Yeah, I mean, you should, but the same time you should go by feelings, man. So what's wrong with this world, man? They, it's the lack of feelings, and they—it's <clears throat> a lack of feelings, and they blame it on shit like it's the rules. No, no, you just got a lack of feelings, man, and, and you don't know what to do with it. But that, that, that's crazy though that they just that, that lady, man. I don't know. I, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. God. And by the way, man, all I preach these people, man. All I preach that lady, man. You understand me? This is really for awareness. Uh, you two don't, don't know him with the bull crap, man. This is only for awareness. Let's see what's going on. What we got here? Search continue for the woman. One in the churches. Let's see what they say. I think I skipped the video. It was the one before. They're supposed to be going first. As the search for her alleged killer continues, we're hearing more from the family of Anitra West. WREG's Alan Self spoke with the victim's family. The Shelby County DA's office has released updated photos of Monica Williams, Man, who is now a wanted suspect Williams, bro, for the murder like of Anitra West. You know how they be putting uh, numerology and shit together? Now, what is the odds? Her last name is Williams. And she killed somebody at Williams. Wait a minute. I've been seeing Williams this whole time, man. This church is chicken. Never mind. West. <laughs> Lorenzo West Jr., Anitra's former husband, says anyone aiding Williams at this time should be convicted as well. I'm just glad that they issued a warrant for her arrest, you know, like they need to issue a warrant for everybody that was hiding her or helping her not get caught. I don't know what Tennessee's rules are about the, the death penalty, you know, but when I believe that we keep killing each other because they're not being punished. Williams is accused of shooting West over a disputed order at the church's chicken drive through Lorenzo says his family has known Williams since childhood. I had family live directly down the street from where she grew up at, so like first cousins and stuff. So. It's a, Orange Mound is a small community, you know. It's very rare that, you know, people. 
I just got to throw this. What he really want to say is, man, she always thought want to hit that dog uh, when I, <clears throat> oh, yeah, I always want to hit that ass. Get your ass out of here, McBallman. Come on, man. You finna sit and say, what you finna pretend like this lady is a good lady? Come on, man. I'm not saying she wasn't, because I don't know her life. But at the same time, you got to be some some type of, you got to have some type of, you know what I mean? You got to have some type of your ends, you hear me? To yank that boy like that, man. And you talking about smoking, make sure you smoke. People this age and our age group don't know each other, you know, because we went to we either went to elementary school, middle school, or high school together. Lorenzo wants to set the record straight. He says he believes the shooting stemmed from a personal argument, not a dispute over chicken. I know if Nietzsche was too important to be killed about some food. It wasn't about no food. It was somebody something somebody took personal and couldn't let it go, you know. And words get past word, once you get past words in Memphis, everybody knows how it turns out. Lorenzo and someone could have been. You dope in that hoe, you dope in that bitch. Oh, you, you, you only take care of your, what, what could have been so much to kill that lady? I, 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 what, what? Some words, man. I mean, you know, we play this little game like, give me any reason. And that's what they was. You could have sneezed. Five miles away from me, but I'm still gonna be like, damn, you sneezed on me, man. Just give me a reason. Yeah, that's what she did. She paid to give me a reason, poor that lady. She ain't want to scratch. She too little to scratch. At the same time, y'all, y'all, female, better get you something. You stimmy. They ain't stop making her when they when they made that. Uh, when they ain't stop making. They ain't stop making when she got her. Say, man, it's only for awareness. YouTube. I want to rub my peep in the youngest. Pay attention, people. And his daughter Zoe are still reeling from the loss of his ex-wife. He reveals his last conversation with Anitra was about restarting their relationship. Oh, I, I told her I was going. I wanted to shoot my shot. You know, like I wanted another try. You know, uh, because. Oh. Oh, that's why he look like that. Oh, my bad. Look. My bad, big bro. You understand me? Surprised you ain't up there bowing your eyes at my G. Unless I'm missing some, I think. But that didn't look like you, bro. Let me go back. Nah, you got catfish. Is that that? Is that him? With Anitra was about restarting their relationship. Oh, I, I told her I was going. I wanted to shoot my shot. You know, yeah, like yeah. I wanted another try. You know, uh, because I don't want nobody else. For your news leader in Orange Mound, yeah. I'm Alan yeah. Self, WREG like News yeah. Channel Three fond memories and if you have any tips about the whereabouts of Monica Williams you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH. I'm talking about come on and I don't know why they I ain't gonna even care I don't know why they keep talking about call Crime Stoppers I heard about what happened to the last time they talking about call Crime Stoppers these people found the dude that had this little girl and they had reward money. They called the police, but they was like, okay, what a reward money? They said, oh, no, nah, y'all did it wrong. Y'all got to go through Crime Stoppers, then go through the police. So y'all don't get no reward. I said, what? I said, me being a real nigga, I would have made, I said, hey, I want to put it in and get these people some money for, being, for, for finding this baby girl. Man, there's some heartless people out here, man. And then y'all made people don't trust y'all. That's crazy. That lady turned herself in, by the way. Well, I got like this last little clip, man. Let's see what this lady talking about. And shout out to, um, let's see, this is my first time watching her videos, too. I just come across this while ago. You know what I'm saying? It's my first video back, man, besides, you know what I'm saying? My brother passed me. Y'all go check that out, man. I mean, I really don't want you to, but, you know, it's a little graphic. But, you know. It's, it's awareness. It's all about awareness on my page. All right, what this say? Killed over chicken. Church's chicken employee murdered over wrong food order. Is this the same people, though? Let me make sure. And just to clear the air, I don't give a fuck about how nobody feel about me. Keep feeling it. And I hope you die in suffering hell. The frustrations of a 12-year-old. Yeah, it's the same people. 
Pella goes up, he dive over here. Oh, this, she must have. Who is this again? Shout out to Black Girl Unlost, man. I like that. Black Girl Unlost, man. She's unlost out here, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to show some little say KG sent you, man. Devastated tonight after the brutal murder of her mother. Her mother, that church's chicken employee that was gunned down yesterday, police are still looking for this woman tonight in connection to that shooting. They say she pulled the trigger. Memphis police need your help finding a woman they say is responsible for a deadly shooting at a church's chicken in Orange Mound. Take a look at your screen. Officials want to know if you know who this woman is. See, like eight people I know, ain't that a bit? Oh, no, 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 no. 48-year-old Anitra West was described as a loving and hardworking woman with a light that shined bright and a beautiful soul and outgoing personality. And once again, man, all our pictures this lady, man. And shot the black girl unlit and lost me. I'm say unlisted. Black girl lost me. You lit. Hey, like, sub, comment, share, all that, man. Turn me up, man. Yeah. I need some shout outs, too, man. Furry person to come in, man. Get a shout out, man. Yeah. Gotcha. She always wanted the best for those around her, always doing whatever she could to help others. Most importantly, Anisha was a devoted mother to her 12-year-old daughter, always ensuring her family was well taken care of. Anisha and her ex-husband, who was also the father to her daughter, divorced a couple of years ago after being married for 16 years. They were high school sweethearts, and despite the divorce, the two remained even closer, vowing to do whatever it took to foster a healthy, co-parenting environment for their daughter. As she often did, Anitra headed to her job, where she had been a cashier for about a year. Little did any of Anitra's family or friends know, this would be her last shift ever. Just after 9 p.m. on July 8th, Memphis police responded to the church's chicken on Park Avenue near Seams in Orange Mound for reports of a shooting. Upon arrival, they were locating an unresponsive adult female lying in the front of the restaurant. A worker is shot dead at a church's chicken in Memphis overnight, and police have released photos of the woman they say killed this worker. That woman in the car. Memphis police say she killed that drive through That worker at that church is around uh, after 9 o'clock. This is the churches on Park Avenue. There's a... I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm laughing at how he said. He, she, she killed that... He, he wanted to say something. He, she killed that girl, man. She did that shit. We're at that church is around uh, after nine o'clock. That worker at that church in the car. Memphis police say she killed that drive through. That worker at that church is around uh, after nine o'clock. This is the churches on Park Avenue. There's a full picture of her. The victim was identified as 48 year old Anitra West, who was transported to a local hospital where she was sadly passed away after succumbing to a gunshot wound. A look into the case revealed that a heated verbal dispute began over a food order. Police said Nietzsche was working the drive through window of the restaurant when a woman with purple hair driving a teal compact SUV argued with Nietzsche outside of the window. After the SUV drove off, Nietzsche stepped outside of the restaurant to get some air. Just moments later, the SUV returned and began firing shots, striking and killing Nietzsche before fleeing the scene. Church's chicken would issue the following statement after her passing. We are deeply saddened by the loss of one of our team members. Our thoughts and prayers go out to their family during this difficult time. We are working closely with the Memphis Police Department on their ongoing investigation. In light of the situation, the location decided to close for the next few days. It wouldn't be long before images of the suspect's face would be all over social media. The woman identified as Monica Charlie Baltimore Williams can be seen here in several photos. And just to clear the air, I don't give a fuck about how nobody feel about me. Keep feeling it, bitch.
She alright? She got a little body on? To my 40 something. Shit, y'all. Oh. If you. Oh, look at this needle rat looking ass. Oh, I can't stand these commercials. In the irony of it all, on July 1st, she posted the following to Facebook. Man, while I was just at the store, save a stop, and was sitting in the car on the phone, and just when I was about to cut the car off and get out, somebody starts sh- Boy, she said save and stop. Boy, boy, I ain't never heard no shit like that in my save and stop. Boy, stop and shot. Second save. Shooting and somebody dead. And the crazy part is, I went to that same store earlier and said to myself, something don't feel right, and I left then. Understandably, Anisha's family and friends were left shocked and outraged. All of this over a food order? Her death marks the 173rd homicide in Memphis this year. Brittany Thornton, a representative for the Shelby County Mission, said the community is lacking resources, including for mental health. Fellow mental health specialist Brandy Flynn said it best. People are making permanent decisions off of temporary situations. Now the Orange Mountain community is on edge after another senseless act of violence. And Anitra's daughter is left with no choice but to grow up without her mother. She meant everything. At times, it was hard for 12-year-old Zoe West to even speak about her mother. I just want to, I just want my mama. I don't want nobody else my mama. Zoe and her father Lorenzo West say Zoe's mother was that church's chicken employee fatally shot Monday night. West says he got a phone call. Let me know to get my daughter to get to the hospital and get her being shot. Sadly, he says his ex-wife, 48-year-old Anitra West, did not pull through. And she likes a way, certain way to live. She always worked for it. And that's what police say she was doing when she was murdered. It happened just after 9 Monday night at the Church's Chicken on Park Avenue. Investigators say this woman with purple hair drove through the drive through in this teal-colored SUV and had an argument with Wes. Officers say at some point, Wes walked outside to get some air. A few minutes later, witnesses tell police they heard a gunshot. They say the woman in the SUV then sped off the parking lot. Memphis police confirmed to Fox 13 News Tuesday night the dispute was over a food order. This 12-year-old would have to learn the news her mother died online. Um, Zoe and her father say Wes was super. Said she had to find out her mom was dead online. That that should not add up, or oh, I'm tripping. The mama not in their life. He took the baby. What the hell going on? Confirmed to Fox 13 News Tuesday night the dispute was over a food order. This 12-year-old would have to learn the news her mother died online. Zoe and her father say Wes was super smart. They say she loved serving people and they Seen it on Google. Oh, maybe like how you slide over, you know, to be showing the news. You seen your mom and shit. But I'm, I'm, I'm. Allows. That's why she chose to work in the service industry. Well, we married 15 years, and she was my high school sweetheart and all that. And we pretty much had gotten closer after we separated, and I, because we had to co-parent. At this point in the interview, I asked a question that sometimes is hard to ask families who have just lost a loved one. I asked whether there was a lesson that can be learned from all of this. Read the audience. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Be in control of you. If you're in control of you, nine times out of ten, you control the situation to a certain extent. He says some people have no regard for human life, and you never know who you're arguing with. As for this 12-year-old, who will now have to grow up without her mother, she has this message for the killer. And I hope you die and suffer in hell. Uh, the father tells me that he and his child's mother have been divorced for about two years now. He says he's technically not the next of kin, so it's been really hard to get information from police as well as from the hospital. He says the next of kin is the victim's mother, who he says is on vacation, not able to be reached by phone, so she has yet to learn of her daughter's death.
Although Memphis police have an identity of the suspect, they are working hard to obtain additional what? Oh, well, they did break up. See? And I'm, uh, you know, I don't know if they talking about next to Ken for, uh, to view the body or next to Ken for, um, uh, to get the little girl or he already got custody of, but what? What? But that, that's what comes with y'all. What you mean y'all was high school sweethearts? I understand moving on, but damn. Oh, see, yeah, it's too late in the game, buddy boy. And you couldn't stay and stick in their wisdom to her, even though you know she ain't want it. Sometimes they need it, and you would have kept their blessing over. But crazy, but you'll never suspect this to happen, though. I mean, you do now, 2024, you do now. But it's like, man, not really, because I tell my God, it's not no movie. It's not no movie. No. But well, let's see. Information regarding her whereabouts. Family and friends are encouraging anyone with information to come forward. The case remains ongoing. All of my face I'm with a bad little bitch here. Yeah, she got tight. I told my little homie to chill, but he ain't got no patience. If it ain't by money, then the big about hate. Just came from the jungle, getting down with the eight. Any day, I'm the one that can turn to a snake. Hey, you niggas are real, but I was the one that was fake. That's the shit I be talking about, nigga. I'm straight. Oh, uh. see, see, I'm the one that saved face. I told them young niggas this ain't no race. But they didn't hear me tell them that shit. Man, they talking my real, but man, I kept it legit. Uh, hit free my nigga G's, oh, this some TMBKG shit. Man, they don't take 200 shots to get you niggas face hit. But then I'm old fashioned, I'm trying to hit boy ass with the potato tip. Now he all stay, oh, man, call boy ass the potato tip. Chick is on, I swear I'm raised to walk around the hood with a big ass machine. I was thugging like Tupac, but hustle like B. Told him get down or lay down or get down with me. Uh, say. Been on that bean shit before steak pop And I never go against my hustle pop Cause I know what I do to a nigga if a nigga got a pop uh, Send boy ass to the motherland without his mom uh, Keep up with the bullshit, we can turn beef into drum uh, Man, I been at the drop on you, don't make me come put some up Tip the dick ass nigga, man, I send her on your way, the nickname Shonda Me, me and her can strike a deal, cause you lame ass niggas at your dumbest Y'all niggas bug, always gotta put the blame on some Y'all niggas nothing, 